It's 7 p.m. I think I should start doing my homework. But wait, I am tired. I will refresh myself by looking at Instagram for 5 minutes. Oh, look at the time. It's 2 a.m. Guess I'll just have to study tomorrow. Hello people, I'm Jen Organic and welcome to this episode of Life Snap. I am back in good old Germany and I'm enjoying the German summer. It's pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, I feel like the opening skit, I've been through that a lot. I really want to do something and then I'm just like, okay, I'll, let me just scroll through my phone for a bit just to relax, you know, and then I ended up just not doing anything and just like binge watching YouTube and just scrolling mindlessly. And I think that's a big issue because it feels like you're just not in control of your own time, even if you have really important things to do. You know, it's just that you can't really help it. So today I am going to share some tips of how to better manage your time. First, you need to assess your situation. How bad is your time management really? Hmm. So the easiest thing you can do is to make a reverse schedule, which means that you write your schedule after you've actually done the stuff, not before. And the point of this is so that you're just really conscious about what you're doing with your time. You can write it on paper or you can like type it up on your phone if you want to. It's just for you yourself to see what you've been doing. And you'd be surprised because a lot of the things that we do mindlessly that doesn't require a lot of brain power, that actually takes up the most of our time. So in my company, you have to write your hours to the project you're doing. For example, I'm doing project A for two hours today, project B for three hours, and maybe helping out my manager or something for half an hour. So every single hour of my workday should be accountable through this project management hours list thing. And this kind of prevents you from not doing anything because then you would be confused where to put the hours. Of course, you need integrity. You can just write hours because nobody knows what you did that day. But if you really do it honestly, it makes you more on track that you have to be doing productive things or working on a project. And the company wants you to be accountable for the hours because they don't want to pay you if you're not really doing anything productive. So we can take that into our daily lives as well. Instead of being accountable with the company, you are accountable to yourself or to the giver of time, <laughs> you know, so that you're not wasting your time and you know what you're doing with every single hour. Now, I'm not saying you can't relax. Of course, you can put like, okay, I'll watch two episodes of Netflix. It's fine, as long as you do it consciously. It's a conscious decision that, okay, I'm gonna take this time to relax. The key is to be intentional with your time, even if it's relaxing. I have a few small tips. The first one is digital well-being. It's kind of a built-in app in your phone where you can see how long you spend on each app. And the best thing is you can also set a daily timer, for example, I want to play Instagram only for 30 minutes a day. Then you just put a 30 minute timer and the app is going to automatically lock once it reaches that time. Of course, you can just open digital well-being and delete the timer, but you know, it's like it's your own self-control and it just helps to give you like a warning of how long you've been spending on each app. After you realize what you've been doing with your time, only then can you reschedule and make a to-do list or a schedule or at the very least just be more intentional with the time that you're using. The second tip is if you actually choose to make a to-do list, make it doable. Don't try to fit every single task that you have to do in a week, like in a day and end up like not being able to achieve them even if you've been super productive with your day and then you're just gonna be stressed out and you're just not gonna make a to-do list and then you're gonna go back to the rabbit hole of just scrolling through your phone mindlessly because you feel like a failure. And the last one is to make deadlines. Here's what I notice. I'm more productive when I'm busy. So I do more things when I have less time to do those things. For example, if you have a 4,000 word essay due tomorrow and you have done zero words, in 24 hours, you can complete that 4,000 words. At the same time, if you're given three months, how long will it take you to make that 4,000 word essay that you can do in a day? A day. No, three months. So you do more things when you have less time because you have to finish them. Now, deadlines are evident when you're at work or at school. Otherwise, there are consequences. But for personal goals and achievements, for example, losing weight 
or exercising or making YouTube videos or finish reading a book. Sometimes it's difficult to make yourself accountable because there's no set deadline and there's no set consequences. So a trick I've done is to make it public. If you want to run three times a week, then make yourself accountable by blasting that on your Instagram story saying, I'm gonna run three times a week, otherwise this me people, yeah. And then every time you run, you post like your route or your sweaty face just to make yourself accountable, even if no one cares about your story. That's just one way to do it. Or for my YouTube videos, I say I upload every week on Thursday. If I don't say that, I probably won't upload every single week. But now I'm holding myself accountable because I kind of promised the world that I will do what I say. Or if not public, then you can also make yourself accountable to a friend or a family member that you trust so that they can be kind of like your coach that kind of like beats you up when you don't meet the deadline. I think that's the main point of the day. Really be intentional with your time and make yourself accountable for what you do with your time. So that's the live snip of the day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!